In these boxes, I have two handbags, and I have a third to reveal to you. And they are each three new colors from this handbag brand. Stay tuned to see what they are. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget, from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community post on your YouTube homepage, where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. Let's go ahead and get into this first one. This color is available on this company's website. However, the other two are not, but there are still ways to get them. So let's break into the first and then I will tell you all about these. And full disclosure, I've already seen the two that you can't get on the website, but this one, this is a true unboxing. Just arrived yesterday. I ordered it straight from the company and I have not seen it. And I was totally influenced by someone in one of their Facebook groups. I'll talk about all of this and more in just a minute. Here we have their card. It says, welcome to the fam. And I know I haven't revealed the brand yet, but can you guess from this packaging? Or from that card? Let's see. And there's a second item in here I forgot about, so let's open that first. Because I just figured while I'm buying this, might as well get something else, right? That I wanted, so. All right, let's break into this. Mm-hmm, here we go. This is a tassel bag charm, and this is in the blue color indigo. Very pretty. I think this will go well with a lot of my bags from this brand and other bags. All right, it's time to see the bag that I got in this brand new, just released color. Grab the handles so I can reveal it properly. Here we go. <gasps> Look at that. So if you had not figured it out by now, the brand is Portland Leather Goods. And by the way, I will have Portland Leather Goods linked in the description box down below to make it very easy for you to go find them. So please make sure you do that, go check them out. And one of the reasons that I'm so excited about this brand, besides the quality being so great, these top green leathers and all the colors, the variety and everything, I'm having so much fun exploring all the pieces from this company. But another thing that's so great about them is the prices. Like the most expensive regular handbag, not a big messenger satchel or a backpack or something, Thing, is like $150. And when you talk about the things that we talk about on my channel, like Louis Vuitton and those brands, the stuff behind me, you can get so much from Portland Leather Goods. You can have so much variety for the price of one of these bags easily. And I'm just having so much fun exploring this and learning about it. And I hope you are too since I'm sharing it with you. I know a lot of you have been, because a lot of you have been telling me that you have been in the comment section. This is their mini crossbody tote, and it's in the brand new color Chestnut. Look at that, that is really pretty. It has some really nice red undertones. It's got some pull-up, which is what they call the variation in the color. I'm trying to get it where the lights aren't glaring at it. There we go. You can see the pull-up really well in there. That is so pretty. If you like Portland Leather Goods or you're just interested in them and you're starting to dip your toes and check them out, I highly recommend you go onto Facebook and you join their group, Portland Leather insiders or Portland Leather Goods insiders. Whatever it is, I'll have it linked below for you. That's where I found out about this color because on their website in the top right corner, there's a little color wheel. And when you hover over that, it shows all of the main colors that they have available on the website, except it doesn't actually show all the colors because there are some like chestnut that don't show up there yet. And there are some that are, from what I gather, discontinued colors, but they still have a couple of pieces here and there on the website, but they don't show up on the color wheel. So you have to kind of know about them and use the search bar to search for the name of the color. I found out about chestnut because they posted it in the insiders group. With this post right here, they announced we have a new color. It's called chestnut. And at first I wasn't that interested because I thought, ugh, another brown, huh? It looks like some of the other browns. But then someone else posted in one of the, I think other Facebook groups dedicated to Portland Leather Goods. There are quite a few. And she posted this of her chestnut bag and she said, don't sleep on chestnut. It's beautiful. And she sold me. I was like, okay, I won't. I'll go buy one then. And this is what they had. This is actually 
if I remember correctly, the only bag they had available in Chestnut right now. So I'm guessing they're going to release more items in this color, not really sure, but this is, like I said, the mini crossbody and it is without the zipper. So they didn't have the zipper available. They didn't have mediums. They didn't have totes, anything like that just this one. And I thought, what a pretty brown that is. And I have mostly been concentrating on getting colors, not browns, from Portland Leather Goods, but lately I have started to pick up a few browns. I'm going to show you some today, along with the three bags that I'm showing you in the new colors. And this is one of the prettier ones, I think. Let's notice too, and we'll look at the inside, that one of the things you want to look at when you're looking at colors from Portland Leather Goods is also the textures of the leather. So this is, it's not the smushiest of leathers, but it's not, it's not got a ton of structure either. So if I hold it, it will stand up on its own. It's not flopping over, but it is one of the smooth leathers. You can see a little bit of grain wrinkling a little bit. It's not the absolute smoothest I've ever seen from them, but it's a smooth leather with some variation and it's nice. The feel of it is not as soft as some of the other leathers that I've seen from them as far as soft to the touch. Here's the inside color of this bag. The inside colors are one of the ways that you can tell the difference between different shades that are very similar on the outside. So this has a more yellow interior than some of the other browns that are this color. For example, this makeup pouch is nutmeg. Look at these. Let me turn that around so the zipper is not distracting us. I mean, they're pretty identical in terms of color, but the nutmeg is a very pebbled, which makes it a much squishier leather. And when you compare the interiors, the nutmeg is much more red, whereas the chestnut is more yellow. Now let's get into this box. This is a color from Portland Leather Goods that is only available in their mystery boxes. You can't buy it on the website. Maybe you can buy it in the stores, but you'd have to be there in person to get it in the stores. And I purchased it. Oh, I got some small items in here too that I also forgot about. I purchased this from a seller from Mercari because I didn't want to buy a bunch of mystery boxes just to get this and I really wanted this color. So this person has sent me, looks like some kind of bag charm maybe? It's a braided strand. It has a hook on one end and a key ring on the other end. So I guess you could hook that in your bag and put your keys in there and then you don't lose your keys. That's pretty cool. And then it has this little tag that says 100% full grain leather. It has an owl logo and it says hide and drink. And on the back, it says proud partner of the Strickland Exchange homemade marketplace or handmade marketplace. I can't quite tell. Well, that was nice. Let's see what I got in the little package and then we'll look at the bag. In here, it's a large envelope pouch. I did order this just forgot about it. This is in the color Sunset, which is a bit more orange than I was expecting it to be, but it's still quite pretty. There's the back of it, quite a bit of pull up there. And let's open it up and look at the inside, very orange, like incredibly orange. This is a nice soft smushy pouch. I got another one that was in peony. It was very stiff and I wanted to see the color sunset and I also wanted a soft one of these pouches. So that's why I bought this, very nice. And this is like a, Nubuck leather. It's got a little bit of tooth to it. Hey, the bag is in here. Oh, this is so pretty. This is, ah, this is the medium crossbody tote from Portland Leather Goods. And this is in the color cappuccino. Quick comparison, medium versus mini. There's the front the sides and the bottoms. The photos I've seen on the Facebook groups and on the resale sites of the cappuccino look very different in different light. So I have daylight light bulbs here. So this should mimic how it looks in the sun. It's a very taupey color and it's a very soft, smushy leather. I love that. I wasn't expecting it to be that soft. It looked a little firmer in the photos that I saw. This is definitely a very soft leather that has a slight tooth to it, but not as much as the sunset. It's not what I would call a new buck. This also feels like a delicate leather. It would scratch easily. And if we turn it, it already has some scratches there and a little nick back here. And then here is the inside. It's a very light color compared to the outside. It's just the same color, just a little lighter. And the medium bags do have this pocket on the inside. I think I forgot to mention it on the mini tote, but these crossbody totes all come with a crossbody strap. And here's the cappuccino tote next to my taupe from Tory Burch. So you can get an idea. So the cappuccino is more red compared to the Tory Burch, but the Tory Burch is also a pretty dark taupe. And here it is next to the taupe Henry's bag that I have. And then here it is next to my coach Beat 18 from the Basquiat collection. 
just so you can see the taupe comparisons. It is a lot more red than my other taupes. And this cappuccino is a pretty even color all over it. It doesn't have much pull up, but the ones that I have seen online have had a lot more pull up, or at least many of them do. So if you are interested in looking for one, be aware of that. There are often variations in the different batches that you get from Portland Leather Goods because they don't do a whole lot to the leather. It's a pretty pure process from what I understand. You can see wrinkling and veining, different natural characteristics of the leather, and the color isn't going to hide that. So that will account for some of the variation. Now the third new color I have to show you from Portland Leather Goods is one that I recently unboxed in a mystery box from them. Mystery boxes, if you're not familiar, are these fabulous, wonderful things where you can get a box that has one bag and four small goods or two and six or three and eight or sometimes just one bag or sometimes just small pieces. They switch up the variations, but you don't know what they are. You know that you're picking this style of bag, but you may not know what size it is. You don't know what any of the small goods are. You don't know what any of the colors are. And you get a nicely discounted price on buying one of these they're not returnable, so it's a bit of a gamble, but they're so much fun. And I don't know if I've shown you this mystery box yet. If I haven't, you'll see it soon. But this is the third new color from Portland Leather Goods. This is chocolate. And I will show it to you next to some other browns so you can see the difference. Not sure if I mentioned that cappuccino is very smooth. Okay, now here's the chocolate. Chocolate is a very dark brown with some red tones. I think that's coming across. This is a more stiff leather than the other two, and it has wrinkles in it, or at least my bag does. It's wrinkly, so this isn't going to be a pebbled leather, but it is more wrinkly. Let me give you a spin of this. So here's the front and the sides and the back and the other side and the bottom. Here's the inside. It's a very red-brown interior but it's also like a red brown that you've mixed a little white in. And let me show you this, I'm having trouble because the cappuccino is just falling all over the place. But the chocolate is very stiff, it stands up on its own. It's not stiff like Canyon, if you're familiar with that, it's more soft than that. Canyon's like sheetrock, it'll just stand up on its own. This cappuccino bag, on the other hand, is all floppy and it wants to fall over. So that gives you an idea of the different textures of these, or the structure of these. Now let me say one thing about the chocolate that I haven't noticed with any other bags from Portland Leather Goods so far, and I have quite a few at this point. This has a different smell from the other bags. The other ones, straight from Portland Leather Goods, they smell like leather, they're delicious. This also smells like leather, but it has another smell on top of it. I'm guessing it has something to do with the dye that was used, but it's, it's a little strong. I have heard that their color cold brew has a smell that people have described as a chemical smell, and some people in the Facebook groups have said they've had to put their bags outside for a few days to let it air out. This has a smell. When you're near it, you're gonna smell it. To me, it's not a bad smell, it's just a noticeable smell. Now let me show you this bag against a few other colors. Here's nutmeg. So it is darker than nutmeg, as my camera adjusts. There you go, that's a good way to see it. So it's definitely darker than nutmeg which is much more red, but it doesn't look as red in real life as it does on the screen right now. This little piece I think is Canyon. Here's the inside of it. It could be Grizzly. I don't have anything in Grizzly to compare that with, but there are those two colors next to each other. So you can see this is more red, but they are both very dark in tone. And the closest thing I have to chocolate is this, which is not something I've shown you on the channel yet. This bag is in whiskey. In person, they look much more similar to each other than they do on the screen right now. The whiskey looks a lot lighter and a lot more red, but that's just because of the bright light that's on them. I'm trying to get a better angle there. In person, in normal light, they look very, very similar. But you can see there are different textures. The chocolate has that wrinkle to it. The whiskey is by far the smoothest, silkiest, most buttery leather that I have come across so far from Portland Leather Goods. Whiskey is just, you wanna eat it up. It's wonderful. And I already had the whiskey bag when I opened the mystery box with this chocolate and I thought, do I need the chocolate? But then I thought this whiskey leather being as smooth as it is, is very delicate. The chocolate is not that delicate. This is gonna withstand some wear. So I thought this would be good when I wanna take it out and I know it may be banged around and this will be good when I want something that I can be a little more careful with. So there they are next to each other. I think you can tell now that they look 
pretty pretty similar. And just for kicks, for my Louis Vuitton fans out there, there's the chocolate next to Damier Ben, so you can get a sense of the color compared to that. And here are the four dark browns together. So we have chocolate over there, chestnut here, this is nutmeg, and then this is whiskey. So you can see the four of those together. And I hope this is helpful because you see pictures of these bags online all the time and they're shot in different light and it's difficult to tell what color they really are. And then it's hard to tell, especially when you can't see them right next to each other. So hopefully this gives you a better idea if you're trying to pick which color you want. Let me know what you think of this video, if it was helpful for you. And also please let me know what other videos you'd like to see about Portland leather goods, particularly in this case, comparisons of different colors. Let me know that in the comment section down below, please. I do have some other color comparison videos coming up, some deep reds, some greens. That's all I can think of at the moment, but I feel like I have more. But let me know what you want to see and I'll see if I can make it happen. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hope to see you back here next time and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.